Okay. Hi. We have just left uh, uh, Bandemir Lakes, where we had a show tonight. Last night, we were at um, Garden State Art Center. I don't believe it's called that anymore. But uh, I read today, or last night on Facebook, um, a message from a lady named Barbara Arcan Stone. And her message was this. I can't believe you used that language that you used at that show with children there. Now, Barbara, I am sorry that I offended you. Never intended that. If I know for a fact that it is a family show, a la the Balloon Festival in New Jersey a few days before, I said words like golly gee and gee whiz and holy cow, Batman. So, but Barbara, listen, dear, the problem I have is this. If you're that concerned about your children's well-being and your children's coming into contact with that kind of language, then I think, Barbara, somewhere we have an insecurity problem. Now, I have a 35-year-old daughter and a 30-year-old daughter, and I'm sure that in their time, they have used the F word. But, I'll tell you what, my daughters have not a prejudiced bone in their body. They have, they are the most mannered children that you will ever meet on the face of the, or the earth. And same as I am, because I say thank you to everyone. I say please to everyone. My daughters are well-mannered, well-behaved young ladies. Now, let's look at it this way. 70% of iTunes content is explicit lyrics. Much worse than anything I would have said as the F word. Okay? Television. Is if you get off of ABC, CBS, and NBC, and you go over to home box office or any of those, whoa, dear, let me tell you, I can't even start to tell you the language they use. They use language that I don't use, because there is language that I would never say on a stage. Barbara, my grandfather was a minister. My mother did not have a prejudiced bone in her body, and neither do I. And when, I'm telling you this story, when my mother took our housekeeper named Novella, who was an African American, to church, and the church people refused to like acknowledge her or talk to her, that's when my views of the world changed. When I went to college and the dean was the dean of this Christian school was having an affair with an 18-year-old sophomore, the views of my world changed. Now, I am a Christian, I believe in God, and I just want to tell you that it's 2011, and if you're offended by the F word, I am terribly sorry, but somewhere in there, there's an insecurity problem, and you need to say to your children, look, that man 
up on that stage, use the F word. Please, don't ever use that in front of me. Okay? Now they're going to go to school and they're going to hear a lot worse than that. And you've got to deal with that. But the bottom line is you've got to teach them manners and morals and it's got to come from you. And you can't blame me. I love you. I'm sorry I offended you. But it is 2011 and the responsibility falls on you. Love you.